Let's Rory, just get straight to the shit. Rory Mall didn't say shit. This is a shit, man. Let me tell you something. As a Rory Mall fan slash reporter, or was. Wow. That was some bullshit, man. I was really expecting them. Like, how you gonna tell somebody to get froggy? They get fro they say ribbit. And you don't do nothing about okay, it. Okay, so so a little bit of context, I guess, is they said if well, we already know about the whole Joe Budden, how they were sending shots to a bunch of people. Right, right, right. They coined the term um bare minimum boys. Mm -hmm. And so Rory and Maul responded to that. They responded to that by making bare minimum boys shirts. Oh, I think that's and cringe, by the way. I don't. I, all right. Here's the thing about it. I didn't think it was cringe at first until afterward. Once they didn't respond, it became cringe to me. And here's yeah. Why. Because it's always them trying to make money or get clout off of something Joe said about them. So it goes. It always goes back to them. Needing Joe mm -hmm. to, to to do something where they get clout or they get popularity. Yeah, that's attention. true. Like so, that, that's what made it cringe. So it it, it went from being y'all can't go out here and do y'all podcast without Joe having anything to do with y'all numbers going up and stuff like that. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting attacked by the smoke, <laughs> but I'm just pretending like it's not happening. But anyways, if we throw some more. Uh, Maybe, but um, so, so anyway, so yeah. they basically they they shoot back, they fire back, and they mm -hmm. say, essentially, yeah, let's get froggy. Yeah, if you want to get froggy, Joe, get froggy. no, this is how I took it. If you say anything else, Joe Budden, we're gonna ruin you. We're going to ruin your fucking like. career. We can put things out there that you don't want out there. We can ruin your career. That's how I took it. Well, let's That's get froggy. Like. And like. Joe Budden, he didn't just double down, triple down. He fucking quadrupled down to me. And say ribbit. He literally said, y'all said get froggy. And he said he ribbit. titled the fucking episode ribbit. How could you not? Let's get froggy. So ribbit. Joe, in Come my on. opinion, Joe did the, the, the manipulation tactic of That's true, yeah. ether in them. And then saying, now y'all said if we if 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 we stop going back and forth, let's stop going back and forth. Mm -hmm. There's no way somebody gonna throw a rock. Well, he at said me. that at the end, yeah. There's no, yeah, but that's the whole point. That's the whole point. He he, like, he put the manipulation at the yeah, end. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that that that's the perfect place to put it. Once yeah. you ether them, so now, <sighs> now you got the last word. He did ether them, yeah. <laughs> so. You, there's no way you're gonna throw a rock at me and say I don't want to fight. But if y'all want to, if you want to fight, we can fight. If you if you hit me with a rock, I'm I'm gonna hit you back. Yep. I don't care if you say, hey, I don't want to fight. But if you want to fight, we got. What the? F hey, what? And yo, I put. I first of all, I, I pulled the episode up. It said something about ASAP Rocky. I was already like, oh god. I was like, you know what? Uh, Rory and Maul's response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their, their final response. Yeah, I was like, maybe they, they, they said something in here. They said nothing. In there. Nothing worth mentioning. They said uh, something about bare minimum and, you know, the shirts and stuff like that. But what the, bro. They might have just lost a fan in me. There's no way I can watch their show and have the same level of respect that I have. Dude, you were like one of the last fucking fans that they had. <laughs> huh? Oh. All right, but yeah, no, I'm not <laughs> fucking up not our whole episode. Fan, but I'm the last fan that you know. Okay, right? but yeah. but what, what I'm saying, okay, yeah. what I'm saying is you're I'll be honest, you're part of their core. You're I, part of their core. Yeah, I guess you could say, you, that. or you were whatever. I, I do want to say this. Say it. I was kind of, sorta trying to unbiasedly cape for them last time oh. we recorded. But there's no, there's nothing else I can say for them. They, they put their stuff out there to dry. Forget it. I ain't got, I ain't got nothing else positive to say about them at this point. And that's so sad because you are. Yeah, one of our commenters even said, "Hey, watching y'all quick video was better than watching a podcast." Yeah, like, I saw Damn. that. I saw that. <laughs> They're basically saying like, I prefer to watch you guys over Rory and Maul, which is crazy, you know. And, and I, shout out to you, I appreciate that, but. That shouldn't be the case. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be the case. There should be something there to watch. And Joe, I know, okay, 
without all this controversy, mm -hmm. you are still watching. Yeah. The, okay, let me even take it a little bit back. This is this is my pers perspective because you're a bigger fan, and a lot of the Rory and Mall fans, they can cape for them, they can ride for them, and I feel like even that they're struggling. But let me tell you my perspective. I'm basically getting into Joe Budden again after they got rid of Rory and Mall. Mm -hmm. So I have a little bit of a different perspective where I'm more of an ice and ish fan, and you know that. Right, right, right. So I've always viewed them, and I yeah, it's a little bit of an academics take. Let's be honest. I'm also kind of an academics fan. Let me, but 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 let but let me let me get that out of the way for me. Um, there's a little bit of that in there, or a lot, maybe some people would say. So what I'm about to say. Um, Rory and Maul have had so many chances to just get this over with and become great and just really just fuck Joe Budden over. And in, in, oh, I don't have a better way of saying it in a content way, in a content way yes, but with a lack of a better term, mm -hmm. they need to dog him, they need yeah. to reveal things, they need to, they need to be spicy or, they, or, or, or whatever. They need to be and they have it. That's what Joe said. Yes, and I yes. Agree. Okay, they yes. Need, in a but but let me space, finish. You gotta be compelling. Go okay, ahead. yes, but let me finish. Um, they haven't done that. They've missed maybe three great opportunities in my, you know, yeah. the first time they came out and a couple other. Yeah. And they've lost it to the point where I'm never gonna watch them. Yeah. This time they were given a last, 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 yeah. last chance. They finally. They just, had dude. A window wide open. Dude, God or how, whatever you believe in, whatever it just. It all just came down, and they were finally given on a fucking silver platter. You know what? Rory and Maul, we're going to give you a final, 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 final chance. And they... And, and, and this is after they said they were going to go froggy. They, 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 they wanted to refire it, and they refired. They restoked the fucking flames. They put the gasoline on the flame. They put the fucking uh, charcoal lighter on the fucking flame. And guess what? The flame fucking rose. Joe Budden just went crazy. Yeah. He went fucking crazy. And they didn't say shit. This was their last, 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 last chance. And they didn't do shit. That's how I see it. But I w that's my last kind of take on it. That's yeah. my last, like, verbiage on it. Because it's just like... <laughs> um, sorry, we have a... We have a... It doesn't matter. A crazy we have a crazy guy. In, yeah, we have a crazy farmer in the background. But anyways... Um, that's kind of like my last take on it because I'm an outside perspective yeah. and I want to get off that off my chest before I know you're about to go in. Yeah, yeah. The academics thing. Yeah. I was thinking this whole time, I was like, there's got to be something there that is the reason that they aren't responding to academics. There's got to be something there. There's got to, like, academics. Have academics. To be acad okay. Or Joe has to be telling them, hey, y'all can't <laughs> say this about him saying Something academics talks now, about fucking Rory's bitch and side bitch. Yes. And now that we're what? here, now that we're here, it really goes to show that these guys are really absolutely positively the bare minimum boys. They literally wow. do the bare minimum in the content space. Why are y'all here? At this point, just leave. Just because y'all, y'all's uh podcast and everything is about to go downward, bro. The the this after this, there's a lot of core Rory and Maul fans that are not about to stay after this. Oh my god, it's got to be like at least half of the fan base, <sighs> half of the core fan base is leaving. I think so, yeah. That's what I would say. I, I was I was debating on the percentage, but yeah, I think 50% is fair. And a lot of people uh cuz I I even after the breakup, I was still a fan of Joe and I was still a fan of Rory and Maul. I always said to everybody it don't matter what you think about Joe. You can think he's a shitty person. You can think he's, uh, you know, not good, not a good person, whatever, whatever, whatever. One thing that you cannot take away from him is he's entertaining. He's compelling. He knows what he's doing in, oh, yeah. in the pod space. I don't, those boys just need to go, bro. I mean, they can stay if they want to. I mean, they, I think they got enough fans to, <laughs> to stay in the space to be the bare minimum boys of the, the space. So, like, hey, be my guest, but. Damn. Okay, I want to ask you one thing. This is what I've been wanting to ask you. Because this is a disconnect that I don't have. What is it? I don't understand why they're interesting. I don't understand why they're... Like, why they're even okay to watch. Like, why would I ever want to watch them without Joe Budden? 
the only that it's take all of this scenario out of it. What I'm telling you is everything. Like, that, go back a little bit. Everybody, it, there's nothing to go back to. It, it's plain and simple. Is they became who they are because of the J, Joe Budden podcast. I agree with that, and that's my listen, point. Listen. Why did you keep watching them? People That's what I want to know. Fall in love with them because of the Joe Budden podcast. Thank you. When you fall in love with people, you don't just once they go their separate ways. You 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 kind of want to keep up. You kind of still want to. If, wow! So if it was Logan just out Paul, of curiosity. If Logan Paul and the rest of them, uh, if the, the impulsive, so George, if George left impulsive, you'd still want to see what he has for a little on, bit. Yeah. But if it but, if it isn't compelling, right. if it isn't, I would exactly. eventually leave and then be yeah. disappointed. And at some point, yeah. you'd be like, okay, good so good example. George was only good because he was on impulsive. Good because. good example. Good example. This, that, yeah, good example. It's uh, sad. I was rooting for them. I was rooting for them for the longest time. Even after they wasn't doing anything compelling, they was just dropping it. Maul does okay. Rory, to me, he 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 cares a lot about what other people think about him, and that is his downfall for me. I think he's a cool guy, like in general, like as, yeah. as a person. But as far as a content creator, I don't think he does anything compelling. Maul does the compelling stuff for the podcast that they have yeah. now, but ultimately it doesn't. It, it doesn't mesh to be what it was. Like, Joe was able to bring two people in and take it to the next level still. They of course, went yeah. over here and they went down. And, man, damn. They're, I was rooting for them, but, I mean, those days are gone now. They're top-tier supporting mics. Yeah, for sure. And, and you were But in, you got dope. Uh, no. Because you got to be... Ne they got to be next to somebody compelling. They got to be next to somebody loud. They got to be next to somebody boisterous in order for their talent to show. If they want to stay they, in the... If they go next to Charlemagne, it won't work. If yep. they go next to... Adam 22. Who, yeah, Adam 22, it won't work. If they go next to Andrew Schultz, it might work because Andrew Schultz is... Woo! That's a good idea. Yeah, that's, that's probably who they should hit up at this point. Like, Bro, yeah. imagine if they were on Flagrant 3. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah, they... they oh, what a, that's they a good should, idea. They should do their own... They should hit Andrew Schultz up and be like, listen, Wow, that's a good idea. Yeah, I was thinking about Adam Twenty Two, and it, it nah, didn't feel right. But but boisterous. but I was getting somewhere. Yeah. I was getting yeah. somewhere. Yeah, you was. But yeah, I He's think you just boisterous. hit the nail on the coffin. Yeah. Like that, that that would work for them right there. If they wow, it's got to be somebody like loud, somebody uh that throws their voice forward. compelling. Like, I hate to keep saying that word, but compelling. Yeah, compelling. That's the. I hate to say that space, word, but in the content space, that's what you have to be. Wow, to be successful. What a good idea! Oh, but yeah, that, but that's, a, a, that's not gonna happen. A, so. Andrew Schultz is gonna touch him with a ten foot pole, bro. Hell no, no! They squashed that beef. They had beef, but they squashed it. Yeah, but yeah, as far as working I, together, I it's yeah. not gonna happen. Yeah, I doubt it. Um. I doubt it. Okay, so how do you want to close this off, man? Like, I, the, okay, let me ask you this. I give them no. I give them nine months, and, and okay, they, okay, but gonna be, uh, obsolete. wow, okay. I think you're giving them too much time, but um, let me ask you this: in closing, at least for me, this is my last question for you. Uh, let's say that there's a future that they are extremely successful. Mm -hmm. How do they do that? They get they get by somebody um, boisterous. They get by somebody. Wow, controlling. that's it. That's the only way I see it. Okay. Unless one of them decide to be boisterous, but Maul is way too cool to be the boisterous one, and Rory is he cares way too much about what people think of him to be. So they're the struggling person. to figure out the A mic, and they don't realize that that one of them needs to be the A mic. No, one, neither mm -hmm. one of them can be the A mic. But but if one of them could, you think they'd be more successful? Yeah, but they can't. I know, I know, no, but I'm just saying in a world that doesn't exist. Okay, yeah. That's all I'm saying. And if, I'm and saying. If anything, uh, Maul would be the A-Mike. Really? Yeah. Rory, he cares way too much about what people think of, of him. Yeah, I get that feeling, too. I get that feeling, too. I think I struggle with that, Like, too. even, yeah, like, Rory talks about, like, things he sees in the comments a lot. Like, bro, if you're not going to do you, then what's the point in being here? Yeah. Cause like with us, like uh, the the Jesse dude, or, uh, I just gave him a shout out. He commented, well, he commented, and I I feel no way about it. Yeah. Like I saw it, I read it, I thought it was kind of hilarious to be honest. I don't feel a way about it. Even looking at the uh, other videos where people say negative things about us, where people say we need to stop talking during a certain thing, I st we still talk during it. 
because yeah. we're doing what we want to do. He cares way too much about what, they, and he acknowledges it way too much too. So it's like every if every time we go to play a song and we talk over it and we'd be like, oh, they're gonna kill us. Like people would hate us even more for that. I'm so glad you bring that up because on our Rory and Maul video, we got a compliment comparing us to Rory and Maul, saying that I like that you guys are just being you and genuine, and that you guys aren't trying to play some character like them, or you're not trying to be. Mm. You're not trying to be, I don't remember how he worded it, but yeah. that's the impression I got where he was basically saying like, you guys aren't trying to pander to anything. Yeah. You guys are yeah. just being you, yeah. commenting on it, having fun with what you guys are doing. And I like that. That's why I'd rather watch you guys than Rory Amal. Mm. Mm. And I don't think that they're capable of that anymore. I think they're so down in the rabbit hole of what they're trying, what they think people like. I don't even know. They I don't know. Shows. I don't know why they're doing what they and, uh, do. Uh, why are they so stuck? They're, they're trying not to be corny. And it's making them even more corny to try not to be corny. Just be corny. In the, in the pod space, you got to be corny sometimes. You oh, yeah. You got to be corny sometimes. You got to eat it. To work out. You yeah. got to, you got to, yeah. I know I'm corny, bro. Academics said that. Oh, academics Shit. is so, academics is so corny, bro. Yeah. But Ac but but he that. but he said, lives said, in it, bro. Yeah, he said, he breathes in it. He said, "You gotta be corny. You gotta sometimes you gotta embrace the fact that you gotta talk about the corny stuff that everybody's talking about because that's what, bro. They don't get it. They don't get it, and because they don't get it, I give them nine months. Okay. Or or however long their uh, Stitcher contract was, because you know Stitcher they gotta finish the contract. So if the contract is another year, then they're going to be here another year. Okay. <laughs> so I know how to end this. Yeah. You're you're a Rory Mall fan. You can I say was. you were. You can say you were or was. You are. That's I not... might still watch the next few episodes just to see what's up. But it, I, it, it, you're getting I tired, watching, yeah. I won't be watching that as the fan that I was. Okay, but let's just say that they're watching this. Won't even finish it. Let's just say they're watching this right now. Mm -hmm. As a Rory Mall fan or a Fallen fan, what advice do you have to give them? If Okay, if you really want to tell them, I am a fan of you, Rory Amal, and all, this is what I wish you would do or wouldn't do. I want you to just pretend that they're watching. What do you have to say to them? How do they fix this? They've already fucked up time and time again, and this time is almost unforgivable. Yeah, and I we know that. Back, but, but if there was a... Just, what's the last... Yeah. Piece of advice that you could give them I would say, as a fan. I would say, and I don't know a bigger fan it, it, than it, you. So, oh, Devin's a big fan, is he? Uh, not as much as you. He's more yeah, Joe Budden. Well. Yeah, that's true. But anyways, does that make sense? Does my question yeah. make sense? Yeah, it does. But you have like a bug the, on your. Uh... The problem is. You can't tell somebody that if they want to get froggy, you can get froggy. And then they say ribbit, and then you don't do anything about it. Now mm -hmm. you look like the sucker. Like, now you look like the guy that... It, at this point, it's like... <laughs> I don't think that's obvious to them. I don't know why. Don't I, I can't begin to explain why, but I don't think that's obvious to them. I think it might be. I think they need you know to what? hear this. Wait, because I feel like Maul, was, Maul is willing to go where Rory isn't. And Rory isn't willing to go where Maul is willing to go. Like, Maul is willing to keep saying the the, the jokes, calling Joe a thief, calling. And Rory, it always seemed like uh, Rory wanted there to be a room for an olive branch if there ever was an extension for one. Ooh. And, and oh, point, I get that. I feel that, too. And at this point, like, I feel like he, he reached a point where he was like. Joe knows that, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that was. Uh, Joe's way of kind of extending the olive branch saying, I love you a little bit, dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I mean I feel like that was part of your manipulation point, but yeah, 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 yeah. But but it, it but give him advice, bro. Bro, I feel like there's nothing I could give him. I mean as a fan, bro. Even, they it, as an outside perspective, as a fan, the, the, the you advice, have advice that they could use. The advice before this would have been be compelling. Oh, it's too late for that find though. Find somebody that has a boisterous a uh, compelling voice where it's like not only are they wi they willing to be more than just the a mic they're willing to give it up in a way that y'all aren't willing to and y'all just give y'all side takes and opinions 
But like now, it, it, every anything that they do as far as like trying to take the step forward is gonna look corny, and that's what they hate to be. So it's like, yo, just I, I the only advice I can get them is uh, get out of the space, bro. Y'all not y'all wow. are not fit for this space. Well, I have some advice. What you got? I view Rory and Mal as B and B Mike. I view them as two B mics. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily saying that they need a name mic. I know that that's what you're saying. Yeah. Of course. At this point, for sure. I think they need another B mic. I think a trio is better than a duo if you guys aren't able to make it work. And I think that they need a Queen's Flip. Mm. Now, the not, boisterous, compelling person. But a B mic. He is a B mic. Queen's Flip is a B mic. Yeah, yeah. You can't lie. Yeah. You, you, yeah. But if Queen's Flip, okay, let me say this. That's not really fair to say because if Queen's Flip replaced Ice or Ish and there's only three mics, mm -hmm. he would, he'd be an A mic. There's six people on that fucking, or sure. seven. Six or seven? So, 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 so because there's seven mics or six mics, mm -hmm. he's kind of defaulting to a B mic. So that's maybe not the best example, but my point is you need a B mic like Flip. Yeah. Like I need someone that is just so compelling with the character that they are. I'm not saying I need someone hood. I'm not saying that I need someone who's just always yelling. I'm saying that I need someone who knows exactly who they are as a character and they're compelling in that character, but they're also a B mic. Give me three B mics. I think that's what the Rory Mall and and that Question Mark, yeah, yeah. Rory Mall and Question Mark podcast is, yeah. and what it should be. I think that's the only way that they recover from this. That's my outside perspective, and I'm not into it as much as yeah. you. So yeah. I mean, I don't have that the best take, but that's that's my take. If but they see, did that, I would be interested. I would be interested. I would want to watch if they introduce a third Rory Mall and. Yeah, uh, I see what you're and, saying. and fuck whoever. Yeah, I don't know. I see what you're saying. They do got uh, uh I think it's about five of them on the uh, that. Yeah, but that voices. doesn't. Yeah. But yeah, none of none of the other voices are. They're C mics, bro. There, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, they're, they're producers. Like, yeah. They're researchers. Yeah. They're yeah. they 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 have jobs. Yeah. When when Rory and Maul leave, they still have work to do. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or before they get there, they have work to do. They have to do yeah. research. They, to, yeah. they have to produce. They have to fix the sound quality. They right. have to. Make sure the shot's right. They have to do the lighting. They're they're not podcasters, bro. True. They are, but in a certain sense where I don't consider them A or B mic. Right, right, right. So, yeah. that's really all. That's all I have. All right, yeah, that's all I got too, man. I, I'm just straight up disappointed in them. And uh, shout out to the JVP. They've been killing for quite a while now, and it looks like they're about to go on another hell of a run because I, I'm sure. They're, they're on the next level the already. The viewership. Had, I mean, their viewership was already great, but I'm sure it's spiked right now while this is going on. Yeah, Rory and Maul viewership spiked too, but that's that's about to be that's temporary in the, in the, in the, in the toilet. After uh, I give them, I give them next week their views will be in the toilet, and then after that, nine months if uh, unless they stitch a contract is uh, calling for more, and that's it. All right. Yeah. Well, this was Pod Wars episode two, uh, oh, kind of the fi finale, kind of yeah, the ending. Yeah, it's a ended. disappointing ending. Yeah. So, I all right, guys. We was about to get a great little war. Boy, was I wrong. Well, yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs>